Well, good evening and thanks for joining us here. I'm Eric Barajas. We're going to get you caught up with on the latest here involving Hurricane Laura. We've just gotten confirmation from our weather department that the official landfall of Hurricane Laura has made uh, landfall there in Cameron, Louisiana. So let's go just slightly a few miles north of that right now to get a picture of what's happening there. We've got ABC 13 reporter Ted Oberg. So Ted, I'm sure you could hear me there uh, giving an update. We've got landfall in Cameron just south of you right now. We've seen conditions worsen where you are there just over the last hour as well. Absolutely, Eric. Cameron, about 30 miles south of where we are. At some point, the governor of Louisiana suggests that the storm surge that is coming up with that eye wall could be enough to cover all of the territory between Cameron and just south of Lake Charles. That is a lot uh, of mileage. Right now, you can see the wind, even in the last 10 minutes, has picked up. As the eye wall approaches, this will be the worst of the wind here uh, that Laura will bring to this community. You can see the trees behind me. We've seen uh, transformers arc and pop in the distance. The lights have gone out several times here in Lake Charles. They've come back on, uh, but that is, it may only be temporary and it may only be here. There's another transformer that popped. We've also seen plenty of lightning, heard plenty of thunder. This storm has gone uh, from a sunny day at sunset uh, with very little rain and very little wind to what we're seeing now, a storm that could bring historic catastrophic damage to this part of southwest Louisiana. It's easy to talk about from where we are right here in a protected parking garage, but Eric, for the folks who have stayed at home, and in Houston we know there are people who have loved ones and friends who have stayed here in Lake Charles. We are awfully concerned about them. About an hour and a half ago, we talked to someone who said he knows of several young families who have decided to stay here overnight. It has to be an incredibly difficult night for them. It will be an even harder morning once the sun comes up and we can see how bad the devastation will be from Laura. Live in Lake Charles, Ted Oberg, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Ted, I also want to ask you one more thing, if we could keep Ted here, because I know, Ted, that sure. you're kind of perched there in a very safe spot because conditions are getting very rough where you are. But we've also gotten uh, word from our weather center as well, uh, Travis, telling us that wind gusts now are hitting at 98 miles per hour. Again, I know you're kind of in a safe spot, but you've talked about some of the conditions with transformers popping. We definitely see some sheets of wind there and winds whipping around. Yeah, oh, I, I, and I can feel it. You mentioned that we are in a safe spot. Yes, we are on the second or probably the third floor of an indoor parking garage uh, here, sort of looking out over the parking lots at the Golden Nugget Casino. But we are in a very safe spot. If you, uh, the, the 98 mile an hour wind gusts you suggest are here in Lake Charles, I'd believe it. The trees now bending a lot farther, Eric, uh, and the sound that the wind makes as it whips through there is getting a lot louder and, and more high pitched, which gives you the sense that this is a higher a higher wind environment that we're experiencing right now. But 98, according to Travis, uh, is not as hard as it will get. It will get a lot worse before that eye gets here. If the storm is uh, the center of the eye, probably still about two hours away from Lake Charles.